Chapter 9. See Life. In Ecclesiastes 9.9, we have a sentence which begins, Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest. The very literal reading of the Hebrew text is, See life with the wife whom thou hast loved. The Hebrew usage of see means to experience and enjoy, as well as to see. Thus, what Solomon tells us is very simply this. We can enjoy and experience life more fully in marriage, and a godly wife adds to our ability to see and to understand all things. A godly wife adds to our vision. This is why Proverbs 31.10 and following speaks of a virtuous woman as the greatest possible wealth. Here again, the word translation as virtuous has a broader meaning in the Hebrew. It means strength, virtue, valor, and more. And in related forms, it sometimes can mean an army. The virtuous woman is not only chest, but a tower of strength. Having her is like having a strong power at one side. One aspect of her strength is her speech. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Proverbs 31.26 Conversely, of a woman who is not a source of strength to her husband, all that could be said is, she openeth her mouth. In fact, Scripture tells us that a nagging wife is as useful as a leaking roof. A continual dropping in a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. Proverbs 27.15 What Adam said of Eve is very important. This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Genesis 2.23 What he meant was that he found himself and realized his own potential in having her. She was fully a part of him and his calling, so that she was like his bones or skeleton, which are necessary for a man to stand and move. She was flesh of his flesh, fully a part of his life, so that being alive meant life with her. Marriage is a very great blessing when it is in terms of God's law, it increases our vision and strength and our ability to function under God. It enables us to see life.